a bit of set jump. Donnie, thanks for agreeing to this interview. I'm really excited to get an outsider's perspective. Outsider? What are you talking about? I was like the main character of Saints Row 4. You weren't in Saints Row 4. What? It's already out. You weren't in it. Are you serious? We probably should have told him. Uh, I was just so excited. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Now I get what Dex is complaining about all the time. So what are we about to see? Well, after Zinyak gets killed, there's no one left to control the simulation. And in order to establish the order, the AI became sentient, taking the form of a dominatrix. Hence the name, Enter the Dominatrix. Yep, single entendre. Very clever. <sighs> anyway, the dominatrix takes control over Zinyak's fleet and abducts everyone. That's where we meet Donnie, who takes on a sort of guru role and teaches all of us how to bend the rules of the simulation. What was it like working with Donnie? It was fun. He's a really nice guy. So why did he get cut? Well, you figure me, Matt, and Donnie all kind of filled the same techie Mary Sue role. You only needed two of us to bigger, so Donnie had to go. Why Donnie and not you or Matt? Oh, Matt and I blackmailed the shit out of people. Enjoy the clip! Okay. Ken's at the end, got a bit crazy at the end, but yeah. Donnie, that training was amazing! I can't believe we have superpowers! Well, now we have to put them to good use. With Zinyak gone, the Dominatrix was able to become the dominant AI of the simulation. Dominate AI? Is that why she's called the Dominatrix? Not exactly. Come on, I know how to find her. I always thought I should have delivered that explanation about how she took over. Kinsey, you know they gotta share the techie stuff. Wait, we're not showing the training sequence? Donnie, the training took a long time. Nobody wants to sit through that. But it was integral to the whole story. I used to have fuzzy This is the area. Well, back for a little more. Playtime. Playtime? It's not what it sounds like. You have to admire that outfit. The fact that she agreed to wear it? Yeah, admire. Give this simulation up, maybe we'll let you live. <laughs> you will fall I don't. I get them! Well, that's about to change. I don't think burn works. Think it's just the two of us here? There's more. Well then, perhaps I should introduce myself. Hang on. Hello? Boss, she's here and she's after me. I. Oh, damn it! Uh, let me go! Shondi! Shit, Donnie, she just got grabbed. Pierce, the dominatrix just took Shondi. Like hell, she did! She's chasing my ass now! Hey, I need help! I... Damn it, now Pierce, too. She must have split herself into two copies. You go after Pierce, I'll rescue Shondi. Got it. 
Donnie always goes after the girl. Oh, whatever. Well, being the hero is a hard habit to break. Can we just focus on what's about to happen against the dominatrix, please? Ah, oh, damn it! How come I had to be a victim and couldn't do the hero thing? I'm sure your day will come, Pierce. Oh, what have you two been doing? Oh, damn it! She locked me into this thing. Can you get me down? Leave my new pet alone. Hey, who are you calling your pet, lady? I ain't nobody's pet. That's right, this one belongs to me. Hey! Again. Where'd she go? She does that. Who the hell are all these guys? We live to serve the mission. That's just not right. <laughs> We'll call it a day. And give up your fun. <laughs> I don't think so. Is that my truck? No. Getting weird. been doing oh damn it oh damn it me into this thing she locked me into this thing can you let me down leave my new pet alone hey who are you calling your pet lady i ain't so much pet that's right this one belongs to me hey Again. Where'd she go? She does that. Who the hell are all these guys? We live to serve the mission. That's just not right. Yeah. 
even mention. So let me, and we'll call it a day. And give up this fun? <laughs> I don't think so. Just getting weird. Simulation on mine. You will bow before me. Not even if you beg. I hope I don't get enough speed. <laughs> God, I don't even want to know where that rack's been. Um, hey. Donnie, you got Shonda yet? Yeah, about that. We need you to come rescue us. Both of us. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that wasn't much of a rescue. Hey, not my fault. I was just following the script. Sure, that's what it was. That's just not fair. That's not fair. You and your sins are weak. You all need to be punished. He's like a one-woman BDSM convention. Oh, easy for you to joke about, Pierce. You weren't the one getting the crap kicked out of you. <laughs> I hear that's what can go on at those things. Besides, like you haven't fought off hordes of people before. Not when each remaining version of her gets more powerful as the rest die. It's actually pretty challenging. Shit, right. Forgot about that part. Why aren't you explaining that to the boss during the fight anyway? Isn't that your thing? Because I don't come in until after this fight, remember? Now shut up so we can get to that part and see my genius in action. You will serve my every. Fight. 
a second. At least someone can save us. Jesus, I was sorry. Kidnapped too. What? No, I figured out a way to trap the dominatrix. Oh, thank God. I'm at the power plant. Get here quick. Don't worry, boss. I'll keep Donnie safe here. Gee, thanks. Television, animation, commercials. Shit, I've even done video. Remind games. me why you didn't get kidnapped too? I'm too smart for her. And I was always kind of hurt the boss thought I would have fallen for some sort of trap to hold me hostage. It was acting, Kinsey, remember? That's no excuse. Actually, it kind of is. Whatever, you could have changed the script. Now quiet, this is the best part. Alright, we'll see if it's the best part. Probably won't be though. Kinsey, how come the Dominatrix hasn't found you yet? I've been able to mask my signal until I had everything set up. I'm just that good. You mentioned some sort of trap? I did, and it's totally brilliant. You see, I set up- BORING! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Which is when I figured out how she's splitting her code, and then I could force her into a single body inside. Oh, still talking. Oh, come on! Here, still be a dick. Hold on. I think this is it. So, the spider till she's weak, then activate the first node. Prince, repeat. Got it? Yep. Good. Because I dropped the masking signal and she should know. You freed my other playthings, but I see you brought me a pretty ginger in return. That's my ginger! You can't have her! Um, thanks? We'll just see about that, won't we? Yes, we will. Boom. How do you think of dying by this? <laughs> can see you run hide. Whatever this attempt is, it won't change the fate of the saints! She's down. Go activate the first node. Your pitiful technology won't change anything. I am the goddess of this simulation. You will all grovel at my hands. That began isolating her duplicating code. Keep going. Again with your futile program. Hit the second node. Point, the dominatrix will run away or something. Well, if you had listened to my explanation instead of skipping the majority of it, you'd know the nodes are also keeping her from escaping the area. Oh, right.
librarian friend is wrong. What will you do if you fail? I offer you a chance to please me. Don't listen to her. Turn it on. You said this was gonna trap her. It did. It trapped her in a single box. Well, I'm not excited. Perfect. I'm guessing that's the last one. Rescued your friends? What comes next? Eh, a lot of bullshit filler missions. I think there must have been like four escort missions in a row. It was so bad. Take Pierce to Terminal A. Protect Kinsey while she does nebulous task X. Guard Shandi while she drives to the widget factory. Uh, that was the worst. That widget factory mission was fucking painful to sit through. Worse than that Nightblade reboot. So anyway, we jump through an arbitrary number of hoops trying to track down this dominatrix, and lo and behold, we find her. In a sex club, how shocking. That was our idea. And why do I have to wear this again? To blend in? Oh, why are oh. you wearing your regular clothes? Please. They know me here. So, how do we get the Dominatrix? Her champion, Dom, is at his throne. Talk to him. The Dominatrix champion is named Dom? Yeah. You make that sound weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm the one making this game. Oh, God. He's in a dick chair. Hey there, your, uh, Domness. Moment of your time. The Dom recognizes the smartly dressed newcomer. Oh, <laughs> Hi, yeah, uh, so I need to see the Dominatrix. Any idea where I can find her? If you wish to see the Dominatrix, you must prove your worth. Tend to my animals. Your an animals? The Doms plushly adorn submissives. Put them back in their cages. Oh. Oh! Fine. Time to wrangle some furries. Over here, fuzzy britches! Whoa! Over here, fuzzy britches! In you go! Coming to get you! Here, boy, who could be? Get me in the cage. I'm gonna get you. Ooh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> how glad I am I am not in this mission and where are you going huh
And done. All right, I caged your pets. Where's the dominatrix? Not yet. You must now prove your willingness to please. Fuck me. That's up to the client. You'll find him on the second floor. Make sure he is pleased. Okay, just keep telling yourself this isn't real. It's just a simple... Situation. But make him feel special. This must be it. Did somebody order a sex slave? Hello? Yo! Open the door! Oh, no! I'm getting ready for you, baby. Zemos? Oh, shit! I didn't know you were here. I, I don't... Oh, God. Oh, shit. I can't do this. But if you haven't gone pro, then why are you here? I need to speak with the dominatrix. So Dom the Dom told me I had to... Uh, but... <laughs> no. No way. I mean... No, no offense. Yeah, it'd be like fucking my cousin. Look. I say you did a good job. Just don't tell anybody. You saw me paying for air. Oh my god! I wondered why Zemos and the boss couldn't look each other in the eye after this. <laughs> I'm done. The client has been pleased. Back so soon. I hope you got your money's worth, Zemos. Oh yeah. I really like the way they use their pinky. The dominatrix only meets with champions. A chariot race is starting soon, and it's attracted the best racers in the world. Oh, take out your competition and come talk to me. You mean take out, like, kill, right? Okay, just making sure. Uh, I think this needs new batteries. Probably deserve this. What am I doing here? I feel so alone. on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. Competition has been eliminated. Where's this race happening? <laughs> oh, you fool! Those amateurs have never stood a chance. You want to win the race? You'll need to defeat the dog. <laughs> you used me. You fucking used me! You are a submissive. You are made to be used. Come, my submissive. Tend to your dog. Beat all your asses in, in a bad way. A way you will not like!
have your toys, Dom. Before I am through, you'll be begging for your life. Hey, you stop referring to yourself in the third person? You're in... Subordination <sighs> will not go unpunished. <laughs> Two villains and you're double negative. Demos, to me! Man, this is bullshit! We ride! Huh? Just that food? Okay, what the hell? Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> and the racers are off! Wow, I never thought I'd be called upon to commentate on pony car racing. Uh, me neither, Bobby. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is against my contract. We have an exciting race ahead of us. Well, uh, you might almost say it's going to be titillating, Bobby. <laughs> Welcome to the 31st Annual Pony Cart Invitational. Brought to you today by Le Leather and Lace. And speaking of Leather and Lace, they provided the head of the Saints and his pony with their outfits today. And what fine apparel that is, Zach. I have to say, though, I wish I had the figure to pull something like that off. Yeah, I hear you, Zach, but as good as it may look, I can't imagine that's very comfortable. Oh, indeed. I hate to think how bad that must chafe after a long day at the track. Yeah, myself, I prefer the soothing touch of a poly cotton blend. Well, I've always been more of a satin man, Bobby. The way the fine weave caresses my skin is pure magic. Rusty's new trombone has some heat. The Saints are cleaning oh, house. There Zach. goes a contestant by nice. sweet friend. And another one fights the dust. Four contestants have entered the track. Oh, 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 it up. Another racer eliminated. One less racer on the field. Here comes Hot Carlos with his steed, Nicky the Nag. <laughs> Send that one to the glue factory. A tragic end for Rusty's new trombone. The mischievous Gimp is here, always a fan favorite. Hey. Hot Carlos has been blown away. Dominatrix is gonna love me! And we have a winner! A great showing by the head of the Saints and his pony, Zemo. Yes, indeed. And that horse has definitely earned an extra carrot today.
I'm back, guys. Into the domination. Pop this top, okay. Go through this door. Jump down here. So, you rescued Zemos. What's next? The Dominatrix orders Paul to terrorize the city, and we need to figure out a way to stop it. It was our darkest hour, and despair was filling the saints. But Donnie came forward with a plan to save us all. Let's not oversell it. He had us build a spaceship. As a team, Kinsey. As a team. You guys are at least showing a seven-minute QTE montage of us building the ship to fight Paul, right? Oh, that's a bit sad. Jesus, I didn't think getting a giant monster to eat us was going to be so difficult. I warned you Paul was dangerous. <sighs> when I heard Giant Saint's flow can, I really didn't expect it to be that tough. Uh, at least the ship held up. Where are we headed anyway? To Paul's brain. That's where our weapons will do the most damage. Hold on. This thing has a brain. What exactly have I been drinking all of these years? I'm contractually prevented from divulging the secret ingredients in Saint's Flow. Let's focus on stopping Paul from destroying everything we've built up to fight the Dominatrix people. Oh, thanks for you. I always wonder what my food saw when I ate it. <laughs> and people say I'm weird. what those things floating inside Paul were? I don't remember that coming up. Oh, they're supposed to be stuff like ginseng, guarana, terrine, all those types of ingredients you find in a regular energy drink. And what about those big polyp-looking things? Ah, oh, those, uh, the, the, those are just, uh, stuff. Wait a minute. Didn't I see those before in a medical dissection video of a frog? Oh, look! We're almost to Paul's brain! This is it. If we release our payload here, it should cause a chain reaction that'll destroy Paul. I hope this works. Kenzie, nothing's happening. Ah, uh, the cargo hold's packed too tight. Um, try shaking the ship from side to side until they come loose. What'd you do, just stop everything in there, Pierce? You try getting all those things fizzle stones and videos away. We have to get out of here before the whole place blows. Then how exactly do we do that? Head for Paul's top. Well, good. At least the intense escape from Paul wasn't cut. the intense escape from Paul wasn't cut. the intense escape from Paul wasn't cut.
Well, good. At least the intense escape from Paul wasn't cut. The intense escape from Paul wasn't cut. The intense escape from Paul wasn't cut. What you're about to see now is the grand finale. That's it? Look, I just don't think I can adequately justify what's about to happen. Would you say the President's assessment of the ending of Enter the Dominatrix is fair? If anything, they undersold it. It's batshit. I don't know, I think there's precedent. Totally. I'll put it to you this way. It was too crazy for Saints Row. Enjoy! <laughs> okay, what was that laugh? All right, Zemos. We defeated Zenyak, but his death enacted the Dominatrix failsafe that imprisoned us in a, a a virtual world under under the thumb of a leather-clad goddess. Yeah. After a long, hard battle, it's all come down to this, and this being that we take out the Dominatrix once and for all. As summary balls. Total ad lib. 
ground is covered in sex workers. Hey, we got a super gimp up in our business. Super gimp. No, but that thing's a pretty great movie, right? See, I remember this mission. They originally didn't have me in it. Can you believe that? I can you're going down, Super Gimp. But I was like, oh, hell no. And I, you know what? Just wait, you'll see it. I'm gonna make you swallow that ball gag. You take that back! The guy playing Super Gimp was really into his character. You know, Super Gimp is down. You show that bitch how we do this shit uptown. Man, this is exciting. I can't wait until. No, 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 no. I'm gonna hold it in. Y'all just wait. So, destroying the Dominatrix, that'll shut down the simulation? That's what they tell me, yeah. And if it doesn't? I don't know. But we're sure as hell ain't finishing what we started up in that sex club. Given the chance, you know you get with this. You're here. I had to beat all the super you. I have assume you met something. Where's everyone else, Shandy? Donnie split off to check out the rest of the scene, trying to get a handle on this way. Right there, Donnie. Shondi, Zemos, on me! The Dominatrix is really pulling out all the stops. You got her running scared. You locked her into a single box, took out her champion, and destroyed her giant energy tank. What's she got left? Underestimate a bitch used to be an old time.
going on? The Zin are surrounding us. We need to do something. We're heading out, boss. Grab a gun. What the hell is going on? The Zin just came out of nowhere. It's insane. I've warned you people for years. But you're always, oh, Kinsey, that's crazy. You're going down, Zinyak. Kinsey, no offense, but you do say a lot of crazy shit. You're. There you are, baby. I've been tearing this damn place apart. Zemos. What happened? The dominatrix recruited the GF. Z. Follow the Z. I know the way back. That easily? Impressive. But this battle isn't over yet. We did it! The Dominatrix has fallen. Now we can leave this nightmare simulation. We better get a move on, though. The way out is gonna close. What the hell? Who is that? More Zen? I don't know. It doesn't look like one of them. Get ready, boss. It could be anything. Hold it. They're not attacking. <laughs> A minute is that if that's right cut me out the mission I brought the motherfucking Calvary a dinosaur haha uh -huh. greetings my name is D'Artagnan I am an emissary of Cyrano the king of a kind spacefaring people <laughs> we are enemies of the Zen then you're a friend of ours brother Raptor well done Pierce I've I've waited so long to hear that. The only way out is through a door at the far end of the simulation. We will help you escape. Climb on my back. We ride! Okay. Total <sighs> fucking batshit. Hell, I'm just glad you're not riding me. woo -wee. Follow me, saints. Out of the simulation into the ending cutscene. I hate the math. I think we should have done this after. <laughs> Later. We have to hurry. Come on! I will sing you the song of my people. 
We Velociraptors are a proud people. In the beginning, we addressed the savagery of man by eating them. Later, we chose the path of enlightenment. Choosing to leave their world rather than be brought down by their baser instincts. But, while humanity is capable of much cruelty, it is also capable of compassion, of honor. And the saints stand here as examples of that. Bring the heroes forward! <laughs> in your debt, saints. What can Cyrano, the Raptor King, give to show you his thanks? A dinosaur with guns. Done. What say you, young warrior? Respect. People need to take me seriously. Any who questions the wisdom of Donald shall answer to me. Miss Kensington? Vengeance. You shall have it. And you, fairest Shondi? Cyrano, I want to be your queen. My hand, my heart, my what kingdom, all belongs to you. Your subjects have named their reward. What can I do for you? You know, I'm pretty good, actually. Wanna go bowling, maybe? Yes. Yes, I do. My people, we cannot hide from the world any longer. We need to be a part of it, so that Raptor and human can stand side by side in harmony. Let our new era begin!
Yeah. Everyone loses to me. So much
guys, I'm gonna end the stream here because we've been live an hour, ten minutes, and let's just say we've been live an hour, one hour and eleven minutes. So, see you in a bit, guys. Bye. Well, actually, no, I've got to tell you something. I uh, I could not go live yesterday. It would not let me. So, you couldn't really see the Star Wars event, but we can go live soon. Alright, see you in a bit, guys. Bye, bye.